Hey everybody, I'm going to do an unboxing today of a Renogy G Rover 40A 40 amp MPP charge controller. You've been wondering what comes in the box, like I was, then we'll see. I wasn't sure whether everything I wanted was going to be in here. So we got a manual and some kind of probably a window type sticker. Maybe I can put that on the side of the trailer. Have to see how that works. It does come with the battery temperature sensor. That's what I was wondering whether or not it would come with that, so that's good to know. And I guess that's some sort of mount, some screws, and some little flanges. Here is the charge controller. Probably seen this in a minute million videos already but that's the charge controller I'm not going to peel the plastic off yet because I'm not installing this I've got my trailer yet I'm supposed to get that in April and this is going to go in my trailer I'm going to do a cargo conversion trailer so you can just see down in there there's a, the Phillips screws the spot where the wire goes in. This is something I don't see too well on some videos so and you could look in there. There's of course where the temperature probe is going to go. There's RS-232 in for the remote. I already bought a remote uh, display for this uh, off of GG. Somebody had one for sale so I picked up one of those. I guess this is where the, uh, the mounts are going to go. I don't think I'll need those. This is probably just going to get mounted on the on the side of the wall, so I won't need to to use these uh, extra mounts that come with it. I'll just put some screw holes in the wall for it to slide down onto. Although we'll see, because it's going to be in a bouncy trailer, I might need something secure, more secure than that. Anyways, that's it. It's going to go away. Hopefully, it all works fine because I'm not going to be testing it for quite a while. I'm going to pick up some solar panels. This this week off of uh, Marketplace, so uh, I'll be able to hook solar panels up to it, but I don't have a battery yet, so and, uh, I haven't read the manual, but from what I've been seeing, you have to hook the battery up before you hook any solar panels up to it, so I guess so that it powers up and starts doing what it needs to do before you hook up any solar panels to it. So. Okay. Look at maybe seeing what kind of batteries I got kicking around. I do have a couple 12 volt batteries out in the garage, so I'll have to see how bad they are because they've been sitting around there forever. They probably haven't got any charge on them at all and won't be any good. But uh, that's next. Pick up some batteries. I don't know if I can get some at Costco or not. I'm going to look and see if I can get some uh, 12 volt uh, golf cart batteries and uh, probably get two of those. And I'm looking at about 600 watts of solar panels at 24 volts, so hopefully that'll all come together and uh, we'll have a good enough system to run some stuff in the trailer. Anyways, that's it, and hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll catch you around.